Okay guys, so I got a lucky tackle box recently and I uploaded a video about me opening it and now I got a Carl's thing, like a mystery tackle box and Carl's thing. You guys have probably heard of it before, it's pretty popular. Uh, if you guys fish, you definitely have heard of it. So I'm gonna unbox it today. I hope you all enjoy. So, oh wow. The first thing you see when you open this up is this keeper thing, like, for a prize, you can see details for it online. Uh, it's a contest, so everything else, panfish, 6 inches, trout, 12, bass, 14, walleye, 16, and everything else is 18 inches for this, and you have to catch it with something in this box. Well, that seems fun. So, maybe I could do this on the river in the during the summer to see some pike because that's where we go pike fishing or i do uh so what you start off seeing is stickers three stickers there's an mtb a fish he's clearly freezing to death and carl's carl is the most amazing creature on this planet oh my god there's a calendar okay Let's look through the calendar real quick. December 2018. He's playing Go Fish. That's beautiful. Uh, Carl, I don't think you're supposed to eat that. Please someone tell him Carl he's not supposed to eat that. Guys, Carl might die. Carl, you're not supposed to eat the baits. Okay, so Carl thought that was a good idea. Uh, this is scary. Should call the cops, but... Um, uh, apparently Carl's a leprechaun. Now there's Carl on a ma Carl on a piece of paper on a piece of paper. Carlception. Uh, Carl thinks he's an emoji. It's beautiful. Uh, is Carl taking a picture with a kiddie pool? I don't know what to say. Keep looking at what Carl has to say. Oh, that's the same page. Seven. Mystery tackle box was shipped seven years ago. On a day in that month. September. National Hunting and Fishing Day comes in September. Oh. Poor Carl. He doesn't know what he is anymore. Here's... I don't think Carl knows you're not supposed to eat the lures. And... So, that's all I have to say about that. Okay, the next thing is an extra thing, like one of the swag things, as the box tells me. It's one of the things you wear if you fish, or if you go outside kayaking or something. You kind of put it over your face like this. You can wear it, it's clearly amazing, because it has a beard on it, and Carl's on it somewhere, I think. Yep, there's Carl. Where's Carl? That needs to be a game, not where's Waldo. Guess I'm gonna lay back here. Now let's get into the stuff that you fish with that Carl eats, apparently. Um, first you have Hama sticks. They are scented with some... Salty material, apparently. I'm not even joking, that's what it says. And then, what does it smell like, though? Color Wakasagi? And it has mackerel scent, apparently. Three, five, three fifths of an inch. I think I need that from one of the jig heads I got in the last unboxing video. If you haven't seen that one, you should watch that if you are into this sort of stuff. Okay. Next, you have five inch flute cooks. Five bites to go. Monster something. Mag trick? I don't know. Show us your catch. Oh, uh, you can send them pictures of your catch apparently. That's nice. And oh. Durable and incredible value, apparently. Okay, uh, here's some weird little things. 
can't even see them. They're shreds. So, so let's, let's get this one open. A little bit of a shad imitation never hurt anybody. And they're not scented. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that'll be good for some walleye. Uh, this might go on one of the jigs I have. I'll check it out after. Um, but it's pretty cool. Is there hooks in here? No, it says something about Texas rigs. Oh, just telling you, you can Texas rig these, apparently. Apparently we needed to know that. Apparently that's very important information. Okay, we got two things left. And a mystery tackle box exclusive giant crankbait. It's my index finger compared to this. I have a very large hand, so. They've been making these for 60 years. Yeah, this would be good for deep lake bass. Nice little yeet. You know what I'm saying, guys? Okay. Don't judge me. Here's a slightly smaller crankbait. Actually, it's way smaller, but okay. It's, yeah, crankbait. So, these two are going to be good for bass. Maybe I can enter this little competition because they're 14 inch bass. Legal size for them here in Michigan is 15 inches and you can keep a bass. So that's nice. So, here's a little recap real quick of what I have got some shad imitations the freaking most amazing face net thing ever the most amazing calendar multiple stickers hand sticks or hama sticks never mind oh, just kidding I don't need that some some fluke hooks two giant crank baits and that's it. So, if you guys do enjoy these videos, I am going to be making more when I get more tackle boxes, things like this. Um, drop a like, leave a comment on if you have any suggestions for a company to get one from, for me to unbox. And I'll do it if I see the comment and they're not $3 million or something stupid. Not doing that. But yeah, if you have a certain box from like Mystery Tackle Box, like if you want to see the multi species tournament box. I can try and pick up one of those. Uh, if you want to see anything off of any website that you want to see if it's worth it, I'll do it. Currently, my debate on these is it's definitely worth it because they're nice. It's got a lot of stuff in it, and, and you guys film. And yeah, it's pretty good. Don't know how much it was because. I earn this stuff by doing it alone, or doing chores, and I get these things. I'm, I'm amazing. You need fishing stuff. Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, and until next time, peace, people. How did I do this for peace? Goodbye, people.